everybody, it's Daniel with the Nose Nose. So what makes a Chanel perfume so different from most perfumes out on the market today? This is a good question and it may surprise you that there are actually a lot of differences in the way that Chanel creates and manages their fragrances. So there's four big differences when it comes to Chanel fragrance. The first one is our master perfumer. We are the only large designer house to have a nose or a, a master perfumer devoted just to Chanel. And our perfumer is named Olivier Poche. And his father, Jacques Poche, created um, pretty much all the um, Chanel scents from around 1980 on up. So the Platinum Mega Weiss, the Blue de Chanel, Coco, Coco Mademoiselle Chance. His dad, Jacques, created all of those fragrances. Most designer fragrance houses or fragrance um, designer houses will call up different, um, what are they called, perfume studios or, or perfume labs, if you will, and request a fragrance and say, we want a fragrance that's like fresh, woody, um, we're thinking of having so-and-so celebrity as the star of it, and we want it to do this for our brand, can you give us something like that? And they're like, sure, here's like 20 different samples, which one do you want to buy from us? And that's how a lot of um, fashion houses create their fragrances. Chanel's a little different because we have our own in-house perfumer, and they literally see all aspects of fragrance within the brand, so not only the perfume that you're buying, but how our skincare smells, how our makeup smells, um, any other sort of sense associated with the line they have a part of. The second big difference that Chanel has is the raw materials that are used because they oversee every single step of production from growing the plants all the way to bottling um, the, the perfume oil. So they work with a family in France to oversee the grass jasmine fields, which are in grass France, and where the roses are grown as well as the iris and all the other flowers that they grow in France. They have a very close working relationship. So they're really, they're really, really hands-on with where everything is being grown. I think that's really cool. The third point of difference that makes Chanel fragrances set apart is, um, is the concentrations. And we're gonna get into this in another video, but essentially there are different concentrations of fragrance, eau de toilette, eau de parfum, parfum, and even cologne, and they are all different um, levels of concentration, meaning that some of them have um, a longer lasting smell and there's more actual of the oil in the composition. At Chanel, they actually change the composition and what the levels are. So Eau de Toilette of number five emphasizes the sandalwood and uh, the kind of trail of the vetiver and the sandalwood, where the Eau de Parfuma number five emphasizes the bourbon vanilla. And if you si smell them side by side, you can smell how they're like the same concept of fragrance, but they're actually two totally different concentrations and compositions, and it's very obvious when you smell them side by side. Finally, the fourth difference that Chanel Fragrance has is the luxury packaging, and we've talked about this before. They think of every single detail in their packaging down to the type of uh, paper used to make the box and the feel of it, how the colors all work together, how the process of opening the box takes place, what that process involves and how it makes you feel, the glass and metal used in the bottle, and every single detail is thought through. So it's all about presentation as well as quality of product. So they think through all of this and think, how can we make this the most exciting experience? Um, the Chance Fragrance, for instance, the top of the bottle, the stopper that you take off is square and you can actually roll it like a dice and it, it rolls just, just like that, and that was the whole concept. So they think through every little detail, which really adds to the whole experience of the fragrance, because obviously fragrance is like poetry. It's, it's a whole experience that's not just a flat thing that you just do because you're supposed to. You do it because you want to feel a certain way, and you want that feeling, and you want that presence around you. So those are the four differences of, of what makes Chanel a Chanel. Also, I am now on Snapchat. If you have any direct questions, um, about you're thinking about getting a fragrance and you're not sure what to get or you're on the fence about a gift for the upcoming holidays or something like that, you can reach me on Snapchat. My handle, I'm going to put it right in the next screen. It is at nmbeautyguy. It's Nima Marcus Beauty Guy. You can reach me there. That's probably the easiest way to reach me if you have Snapchat. 
or um, you, I'm on Instagram. I'm going to post all that stuff. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.